this specific example, when we get to the uh, cross section, um, where we have the cross on the top, and we're trying to get the solid um, yellow on the top face, on um, this particular case, where we have two off to the side and two off to the side, instead of doing soon twice, um, what happens is it's a little bit repetitive because what you do is you do soon once. So here I'm doing soon the first time. And the last move of soon is that. And the first move of soon is that. So really you're repeating this move. So what you can do is you can take that move out completely by um, not doing it. Now you can do one of two things. Um, since the second move is an up move, and the last, the before the last move is a U2 move, you can either do this move, and instead of U2, do U3, like so. And that basically saves you, because here's U2, down, and then you do soon again, which is up and over. So that's basically, that's the third move right there. So you can do one, two, three, and then continue on. And that way you waste, um, you save actually, you save three moves in the, in the process. What's even more efficient than that is if you cut out both of those. So you have off to the side, off to the side. Instead of doing three moves, well, let's see for example. Um, if this green wants to go here, um, I can either do three moves that way. One, two, three. Or I can just do one move that way, like so. So that's basically what we're going to do here. We have off to the side, off to the side. And instead of doing three moves, like I just showed you, you can just do one move the opposite direction. Like so. And instead of doing U2 here, do the opposite. U prime, and then continue on. And if you're learning the Fergus method, that is the actual um, OLL for that case. Um, it's just uh, soon with a couple of um, pieces cut out. In my previous tutorial, I show you how to do um, soon for all of these uh, orient last layer cases with the corners. Um, but to be honest, anti soon is better. Um, normally, I would show you to set up it in a specific position and do soon, and then I'll give you either soon or anti soon. But really, anti soon is faster because of the way that your hand is positioning. Um, because you don't have to do as much repositioning of your hand, and that makes the move faster. So, anti soon is a lot faster than soon because right there I had to change my hand three times and that takes seconds off of your solve so there's a little shortcut for this situation where you have two off to the side um, one in the front and one in the back from this position I tell you to do soon in the other tutorial but really you can do anti soon from this position and it's faster now it'll lead to anti soon and you do anti soon again and that is a lot faster than doing soon twice because soon, although it's fast, it takes too long in some cases. Now, sometimes when you're trying to get the corners in the correct spot on the PLL, um, you'll look around and you'll realize that you, do, you don't have a pair. Um, and this is really, really frustrating because that means you have to do that step twice. Um, now, there are five cases where this um, can happen. Um, this is one of the cases where it, it looks like you have little F2L slots, like right here. And you have it going in this situation. This is called the N perm. N as in nighttime. Um, and there are algorithms for that. And this is another case that you might have with no pairs. Um, basically, it looks like you have two L F2L slots and they're pointing at a single um, isolated corner that is not um, solved. Um, this is called the Y perm, where you have this corner by itself, opposite needs to be switched to the opposite corner, and these two pieces need to be switched like that. Um, this is the Y perm, and you would hold it in this position. This is another case called the V perm. Um, it's where you have the two F2L slots, and they're um, kind of connected by one corner here. Um, again, you have opposite corners which need to be solved, and two edges which need to be solved. Um, it's kind of like two parallel lines going this way. Um, similar to Z, but in this case, it's a co uh, corner switch and an edge switch. And this is called the V perm. Um, kind of looks like that. Um, and this is the position that you would hold that in. This is the last situation where you don't have a pair. Um, really, it's um, where these two pieces need to be switched. So these two need to be switched with these two. 
So we just have red and green and orange and green need to switch and red and blue and orange and blue need to switch. So it's like double parallel lines again, but for the um, corners. And that's the position that you would hold this. Now, the reason I've shown you these specific ones is so that you can solve the cube just a little bit faster. Um, I'm not going to show you how to do the algorithms for these because I'm trying to keep the video short, but I will post the algorithms um, in the uh, comments, um, sorry, the um, video description box off to the right. Um, re again, the first one I showed you is the N perm. Um, the second one I showed you is the Y perm. The one following that is the V perm. And this one is uh, like double parallel lines. Um, I'm not sure what this one's called. Um, but again, I will post those algorithms in the description box off to the right. Now what that will do is it will solve the corners um, to where you don't have to do the algorithm twice the one I showed you from the previous video so you only have to do this once and you get a little bonus because it also solves the edges and um, these are actual PLLs it's not um, a shortcut um, PLL like I show you to do the corner first and then the edges um, with these particular situations since you can't start with the corners because none of the corners are paired up um, this learning these algorithms will actually just solve the entire um, top layer for you so that's how it's a little bit faster, but you do have to learn um, four more algorithms. All right, so that is um, the shortcuts video. I try to keep it short because <laughs> it's a shortcuts video. Um, now I didn't go over every case again, um, especially on the PLL stuff, and I apologize for that. But I will post all the necessary information for all of these um, moves and algorithms and whatnot. I'll post them all in the video description box over here to the right. And um, I hope this helps you solve the Rubik's Cube a little bit faster with the method that I showed you. Again, um, if you want to get even faster, then it's time to take it up to the next level and go look at all of the PLLs and all of the OLLs and all of the F2L cases. Again, I just tried to show you some of the basic ones to help you get under a minute. If you feel very, very confident with this method and you want to expand, um, some of the moves I showed you here will help you expand your um, method a little bit more. And then really just doing some research on your own will help you solve a little bit faster. Uh, one more thing before I close up the video is, as I said in previous videos, um, if you want to learn how to get um, faster with your hands uh, mechanically, not um, learning methods and learning algorithms and stuff. This is just how to move the faces faster. Like, for example, if you're still moving your um, cube with hands like this rather than fingers like most people do um, then I have a video that will help you um, get faster at that. It's called the uh, finger tricks tutorial and that tutorial will show you how to get faster at moving the cube with your fingers um, because part of solving a cube is having a fast method and part of solving the cube is, have, is having a fast cube and moving your fingers quickly so if you want a little bit more help um, I would suggest checking out that tutorial. But other than that, um, that is the conclusion of this video. Thank you for watching. Uh, please comment. If you have a question, I'll be happy to answer. Just post a uh, comment below. And thank you for watching.